Hey you guys, my name is Katie Specker and today I'm going to teach you how to use OpenShot video editing software. Alright, so this right here is OpenShot video editor. Now I'm going to give you a quick tour around the functions and features before we move on to editing. So, we first have our screen right here and it's accompanying buttons. This is where your preview of your video will show up when you have clips in the tracks. So to start out with, there are five tracks. You can add more using this button right here, this screen plus sign. These tracks can be used for video clips, audio clips, open shot, accepts all kinds of audio, video, and photo files. There has not been a kind of file yet that it has not accepted when I've been doing my video editing. Speaking of, this section right here is where you will put your clips. Now you can either choose to right click and you can click import files and it will open up your navigation menu so you can search for the file that you want or you can just open up your downloads from your browser or your navigation folder and drag and drop. Like I said, it'll accept all kinds of video, audio, and photo files. You can also sort by the kind of file. So you'll see you have show all, video, audio, and image. If I click video, my audio track that I had in there would disappear and it'd just show me my video clips, audio clips, and then if I had any pictures in there, it would show up when I clicked image. And then these three buttons down here, you have your project files, which is the one it's currently on, and that's just all of your videos, music, and photos. You have transitions, where it will give you options of different transitions that you can add into the editing program, into your clips. It has actually quite a lot of transitions. A wide range you can go really really fancy like with the, one of these whirlpool ones or you can just do like a wipe simple easy ones and then you have your effects button where you can do different things like add bars black bars to the top um, it even has a chroma key option which means if you use a green screen it can do a green screen and then some other uh, various effects. So this minus sign right here and this plus sign right here and this blue bar in between, what it does is if you either click one of these buttons or move this slider, it'll allow you to zoom in and out on your video that you're editing. So right now I have it set at 10 second intervals, which means if I had a video clip in here, and let's just maybe put my audio clip in here just for show. So it shows me my entire audio clip and it's about two minutes and 10 seconds long. And then if I zoom out, I see more in one, more of my video in one view zoom in you see less okay so the next thing are these buttons over here this is a snapping button when it's turned on it will allow you to snap two clips next to each other without having to uh, fidget with alignment and uh, did I get it close enough so if I were to take this clip right here and just go ahead and put it in here, with my snapping off, if I were to add this video, I could put it anywhere. It would recommend that I put it right here, but I don't have to. That's where it would line up with the other video, but I could 
do this and it would have absolutely no problem. However, if I have snapping enabled, it'll immediately snap it to where it's con connected to the next video clip and there is no space in between. So, so next we have the razor tool which will allow you to cut different clips quickly. So now I have a cut clip, which is quicker than if you wanted to do it another way, which I will show you the other way here in a little bit. This button right here adds a marker. So say you're, you just want to go all the way through your video and mark where you need to cut out like awkward pauses or large chunk of video where you messed up. You would go there and you would click that button and then there would be a little blue marker right there. Can't miss it. Okay. These two buttons right here will take you to the markers that you place. So if say you go through one time and mark all the spots where you need to cut your videos. Then you can use those tools to quickly skip from marker to marker so you don't have to keep scrolling through the entire video if it's a long one. And then this, finally it centers the timeline which is this right here on the playhead which is this right here. So it'll just go to wherever this is. Now. The next thing I want to show you is this little box over here. It'll be titled Properties. So up top, it'll show you your selection of which video file you've selected. And then underneath, it has all of these options to edit that particular clip. Now, you probably won't need to use too many of these. Um, Duration tells you how long the clip lasts for. You can use these two buttons, enable audio and enable video to turn off your audio and video. You just have to right click on this bar right here. And then another one that I use very frequently is the volume button. So if you are adding in an audio track like music to be a background track to your video, this is where you change the volume. So you'll select your audio clip, you'll take your volume and adjust it to wherever you want. Typically I keep it between 0.05 and 0.1 because that's typically a good point where you can hear someone talking clearly, but still faintly hear the music in the background. And that's all I really use in this section and all you'll really need if you're just doing basic video editing. So now let's go with these buttons up here. Of course, this button is new project. You can open a project from your files, save your project, undo redo. This is another way you can import files is just by clicking this green plus. This is more of an advanced setting to choose the profile of your video. So you have all these possible options. You're probably not going to need to change it from where it's already set. I wouldn't. Um, so going on. Then you have your full screen, which of course, full screen through application, and then export video, which I will do last. So I want to show you guys real quickly how you can put these different tools into use in editing a video. So I do gaming videos on YouTube. 
So I frequently edit those. I have my introduction sequence, which is, well, which is just this. It plays and usually I have audio in the background and that is my intro. So then I have my main clip, which is a very long clip. And I will save you guys some time in watching all of this, watching me edit all of this, but I would like to show you a few things. So, here in the beginning, I have a little bit of time before the game shows up on my screen. Of course, I don't want that in the final video. So, I play my video, of course, until it gets to the point where it shows up on my screen. And then I can use the playhead to back it up to about right here. And here I'm just going to add a marker so I can come back and cut it later. Now I'm going to go through my video and go ahead and do all of this and then come back and show you guys the clipping menu after. So our first way of cutting a video was when I showed earlier and this is the way that I prefer. You simply right click on the playhead and then you go to slice and you have three options. Keep both sides keep left side or keep right side. Now for this, I'm just gonna keep the right side because everything on the left I do not want because that's just dead empty space of me doing nothing but trying to get the game up and running. So there's that and then I can move the video this way. Maybe I'll keep it here for now. And then I can move to the next marker where I want to cut on both sides because this was a space where I opened up a menu and I don't want that in my final video. So I go to one marker and then the next and I just click keep both sides for both of them. Then I can just click this piece in the middle, make sure it has the just has the red outline, right click and re remove clip to take it out. So, a few other things you can do with this right click menu is you can copy the clip for effects, you can use fade, you can use animation, you can rotate it, which is useful. Uh, you can do layout if you're doing a video where you have multiple videos that you want to put on the same screen, like say you want to do a virtual choir. This is what you can use layout for. And you have a few options here. You have quarter size, center, top, and top left and right, bottom left and right. You can show all and maintain a ratio or show all and distort. Time, you can have normal time. You can set it backwards. Uh, you can speed up, do a time lapse kind of thing. You can do a slow motion, you can freeze, or you can freeze in and zoom. Of course, you have volume options where you can reset the volume or have or put the volume at a certain percentage. So of course, level 100% is as loud as it can go, and then level 0% is, well, you know what 0% is. And then you can choose for it to fade in fast or fade in slow. You have the same options for end of clip or the entire clip. So, and then there's a separate audio option. This comes in handy if you have a video that you want to just have the audio from. You don't want the video, you want the audio. You can, under display, you can choose to show waveform which I find very helpful if you're doing a video where you have to match up two different audio tracks. 
That way you can match up the waveform shapes. And then you have your properties menu for the clip. And then of course you have the option to remove the clip. So I have finished editing my video and now I'm going to export my video. So I'm gonna click this big red dot up here and then you can choose to title your project, whatever you want, if you didn't do so already by saving it. You can choose to save it to a certain space. So I have a hard drive that I save everything to that I will be saving this to. So I select that folder and see it shows up right here. And then I wouldn't worry about the advanced options on this. I would just worry about the simple ones. You really don't need to change any of these. However, if you need to download or export this video in a certain form, like an AVI, an MP4, MOV, you have the option here to do that. So what if you need to export it as a specific kind of video file, this is where you're going to change it. Okay, and then you have the video profile and you have your quality, which it gives you high, medium, and low. And then you click export video and it goes to work. All right, folks, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching.